This is the iPool Light Pro. It's an LED color changing pool light that can be retrofit in uh, old incandescent light fixtures. Uh, but it's also completely flat. Well, almost flat. It can be installed recessed on old light fixtures, but it can be installed just straight on a uh, on the side of a pool wall. You will need um, a conduit behind it to fit the wire, but it's pretty versatile. And I'm going to show you just the parts. Right now, it's running, it's cycling through uh, seven different seven different colors. It's run by um, a, an app on your phone. Uh, you don't have to have the app on all the time. You just uh, you just open the app, set it to the setting that you want the lights to run at. So you can just set it a static color, uh, pretty much any color on the spectrum. It has a whole sort of rainbow of colors that you can choose from. Um, you can set it static, or you can set it to cycle between different colors. You can set it to cycle through preset colors, or just um, or just their own set preset programs. So as I said, it's very versatile. And then when you turn the light on and off by the switch, if you have it off for a while and you turn it back on again, it'll just go back to the last used program, which is very useful. You don't have to use the app at all. You just use it to set it and that's it. Um, but the app is pretty cool. You can also have a uh, music playing and it will flash the lights um, to play along with the beat of the music. So uh, pretty much all I did with this light um, is I removed the old one. It was an old Pentair um, style fixture in the wall. So uh, I removed that one and fed the wire through the, through the conduit. They, a lot of places I'll just tell you to, to feed a rope through. So I had, um, had some, some wire, so I fed that through and uh, pulled the wire, the old wire through and then pull this new light wire back through the, the conduit. It does come with an extra control box and I have this running on a 120 volt power. So out of here are the old wires and I did, uh, did actually, I've got to put the screen back but I took the screen out in order to have this box facing the pool so when I use the app the um, the aerial inside here that connects with your signals from your phone. It um, has the maximum range possible. But you have the, the power wires coming out of here, the pool light coming into here. Um, this is the only box that comes with the actual pool light. And this is the box that it comes in here. So this is the eye pool light. And there's a couple of different lights that they that they offer so they have a small one i think it's a one and a half yeah one and a half inch fitting right there they have a smaller light and then they have a larger light i went with the larger light the pro version which is supposed to be brighter and um there's some other different features on it um but it comes with this control box this is an extra junction box that i found on amazon that actually had the connections. I had one connection at the top and three connections down the bottom. Uh, waterproof connections but I also went ahead and I put some silicone on them to just provide some extra seal. Um, and the reason I wanted that is because there's two wires that come from the, the junction box up here. One of them I have coming down into the bottom of the box and then the other one comes straight down. Um, the reason I needed this one right here was because the wire, one of the wires that comes from this box is very, very short. It's only about that short. So I needed something that it could go right into. And this has worked out pretty well. And then this is just some aluminum screen frame, uh, extrusion aluminum, a couple of pieces that I put it all next to. Everything's uh, grounded right here on the side. I actually pulled, pulled this uh, terminal off of an old pool pump and uh, you know, siliconed everything 
in there in the conduit. So we'll put that screen back later. And um, this is the manual that it comes with. It tells you how to do everything, the different wiring versions, how the control box is, is wired up. And um, I believe there's a couple of different options, 12 volt and 120 volt. And then this is a, a screenshot of the app, what you see on your phone. So you can see it has all the different rainbow of the colors that you can choose from, uh, a couple of different modes, the, the static colors and flashing and gradients and all sorts of cool information to help you get started. But had it in for a couple of days, very happy with it. The range is pretty good. And I think facing it towards where you're going to be um, controlling it from helps a lot. And I'll take some video at night so you can see how bright it is. I have a pretty big pool here, so um, we're about um, we're about 40 feet by by 16. So it's a pretty big sized pool, and it lights up the pool pretty pretty well. So this is the pool night and it lights up pretty good right now I have it on the seven color gradient mode so it just cycles through the seven different colors and you can change the speed as well so you can do it super slow or rapidly It's dusk, it's not completely dark outside. I think this is white. lightning outside is raining and that is red which is the darkest color and when it's completely night it lights up really good it's green and back to blue